So for the mainline design in Turbo Design Pre, we start by selecting the machine type, which is axial compressor in this case. Then the next section is specifications and uh, here we specify the stage number as one since we are interested in designing a single stage with a rotor followed by a stator. And then the design point spe specifications which are based on the well-known HP9 stage uh, which is the total pressure ratio, the mass flow rate and the rotational speed which are generally part of the duty point specs. And then the inlet conditions which are set to atmosphere and uh, we can also specify the flow coefficient and the stage loading which are generally known for axial compressors otherwise it's also possible to specify some dimensions here and then these coefficients will be calculated automatically and the fluid in this case is air ideal gas and since the shroud diameter stays constant for this compressor we can impose a constant shroud as well so the next section is stage composition where we specify some more details about, about our stage. So since we have a purely axial flow coming onto the rotor and we want a purely axial flow coming out of the stator, we can set the stage inlet and outlet angles to uh, flow angles to zero. We also have the option to set the spacing between the rotor and the stator or between the uh, stator and the stage exit. And then some details on uh, some more details on each blade row. So starting with the rotor first, the axial velocity ratio is set to one because we don't want any flow acceleration or deceleration through the blade. And uh, it's also possible to specify the axial chord directly if that's known in advance. Otherwise, the optimum dimension can be calculated from the aspect ratio. And then we can either impose the number of plates directly or we have the uh, mean line code estimate the optimum, optimum number for us based on diffusion or solidity. And then finally we can specify those inputs for the stator row as well. And uh, then we don't need to change anything in the convergence parameters. And then we can run the calculation. And in less than a second, we, we have the meridional shape for the axial compressor stage, including the rotor and the stator blades, as we can see here. And also a general report on the machine as a whole. And then we can also choose to see separate detailed reports on the individual stages like this. So here we have the estimated stage efficiency uh, and some important dimensions. And uh, we also have the uh, RBT star values here, uh, which is like the work coefficient for the rotor and stator blades. And uh, these will actually be used for the inverse design of the blades later. And uh, as we scroll down, we have some more details such as the pressures, as well as the velocity triangles at the leading and trailing edges of the rotor and the stator. And then finally, we can uh, we can save the files which will later be used for the 3D blade design of the rotor and the stator in uh, Turbo Design 1 using this button here.